All right. Well, I'm really, I'm really glad to see a lot of people kind of were able to grab onto the obviousness of the scriptures and how simple it really all is. Some people freaked out, but not too many. Good. Um, I want to just again reiterate. Um, you see, that is the virgin upside down. It's a dead sheep. The key to what do you do with the key? You put a key in a lock and you turn it upside down and the door opens. Get it? <clears throat> so, you know, a lot of people, you know, get caught up. Oh, well, we're only saved through faith by grace. That's absolutely correct. You are saved through faith by grace. In what? In Christ. You have, but you have to know his identity. Other, it's, otherwise, it's just some nebulous word. You have to know who he is. You know. Now, check this out. Let me show you some. One of one of the comments was, um, "How do I turn, you know, myself upside down? How do I get turned upside down?" So let me just show you a little, a little way to. We're gonna do like a little experiment. I I've already done this one. It's real simple. It should make it real easy. So, you know, National Geographic had uh, a thing about the Mayans. And we all, we know the Mayans and the Aztecs were, you know, they did human sacrifice. You know, it's pagan idolatry. <clears throat> you know, so here's an image of a guy. Uh, his name is Fire is Born. There he is. <clears throat> this is out of this segment of National Geographic. So, <clears throat> Let's apply the key to the kingdom of heaven to say, you know, like, what were these guys all about? You know, fire is born, the Aztecs, the Mayans. And so I had Dave um, put it on the same page. I, this is, By the way, I'll make all these pages available to y'all. <clears throat> you guys can download this stuff. You guys can download these pictures and you can print them up and draw them. Your, draw it. Grab a pen, draw it in yourself. Print these up. You know, when you put a pen to it, it'll change the way you think. Just like when you take notes in college, you know. I took notes. If you take notes, you understand your stuff, your stuff better. If you just look at it, you know, you walk away and you forget it. Okay, so here, let me show you a little something. Okay, so we're going to take this guy. Fire is born. You know, he's a Mayan king. I don't think it's going to enlarge. No, it's not going to enlarge much more. Okay, he's a Mayan king. Well, he's wearing one of those ridiculous headdresses. It looks pretty demonic already, right? Yep, yeah, well, let's do the Isaiah 29. Those who hide their plans turn everything upside down. Now, don't forget, it's not the Mayan guy hiding his plan. It's a spirit controlling the flesh body that's hiding its plan. Okay, there we go. Now, let me see if I can get my drawing tool to work. Hang on. Okay, I got my drawing tool to work, and it's, you know, it's a um, little touchy, so just give a look. I'm going to show you the face of the devil. The eyes are right here and here. I'll just put a little dot there and there. Okay, you see his teeth right there in white? Here's his, here's his beard watch. There's his beard right there, right? See the black going up like that, going like that. Okay, you know, we're just going to stay inside the red. And we'll just go like this. Da, 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 da. We got up here. No, these are his horns. Da, 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 da. This is going to be kind of hard to draw, though, because it's a thin line. See it? And there, so there's his eye. Those are his teeth, his white teeth, his tongue, his nose right there. You see the devil? Very obviously the devil. Now let me let me try and uh here we go. Let's escape. So there's the devil, right? Let's see him. Okay. Y'all can see him now, right? There's his eye right there. There's his eye right there. There's his nose. There's his teeth. There's his tongue. There's his bottom teeth. There's his black hair. There's his beard. Beard. 
I, I, nose, big red horns going up. See it? So why is there a big freaking devil upside down? Because this is what's running him. You know, there's another race of beings. One contrary, opposite, you know. Um, it's just like, it's so common in logos. It's, this is everywhere, folks. You're just waking up to it. And it's, I've been doing this for years. And I mean, like I said, the first, you know, the first communication in that, in that hotel room was, I told you the Lord told me, he said, one, to read the tags and the closure carrying, which is, it said 100% nylon, and that didn't make any sense at all. And I said, what does that mean? He said, turn it upside down. And I said, 100%, turn the word nylon upside down, no lion. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then I said it, no lion. And then my whole body just buzzed. It just was like, wow. Just wow, like it's being lit up with light. So anyway, so it's, it's the same thing as, you know, Jesus telling Peter, hey, Peter, I'm going to give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Now watch. I'm going to, here's nylon and no line. See, it's, it's, if you would, if you turn this word upside down, if this is on a shirt and you rotate it, it'd go just like this right here. And so this is what it would look like right down here. Watch. Da, 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 da. The key to the kingdom of heaven. That's the first thing the Lord gave me. And it's, and by the way, it's the foundation. It is, you know, Jesus said, I, you know, on this rock, I will build my church. And people don't even know what the rock is. It's like, well, you know, Peter has the key down here. See, Peter, and here's the rock. And so this is the big rock. Here's the little rock, the key of the kingdom of heaven. He, Jesus builds his church where the servant uh, of all is the greatest. So he's the base and everything gets built on top of him because he's the servant of all. It's kind of like an upside down pyramid, not kind of, it is an upside down pyramid because the regular pyramid stands for Satan and the eye at the top of the pyramid stands for, you know, their boss, the capstone, Lucifer. And everything at the base of the pyramid serves the capstone. Jesus is the opposite of that. He's the one at the bottom, and he serves everything above him. The, ser the greatest of all is the servant of all. Get it? That's his kingdom. That's how you tell. And so anyway, you know, this is just like uh, just like nylon and no lion. Do, 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 do. See? Anyway, it's pretty simple stuff. You know, um, a lot of people, I mean, you just don't recognize it. It's in public all around you. Here's a good example. There is a drink out. Uh, they were just delivering it to the ice house the other day, you know, the convenience store. And it's called Serpent Bite. I saw it. I was like, Serpent Bite. Okay, well, here's, the, here's an image of the Basilica right here. Check this out. So look, so the entire Catholic Church is called St. Peter's Basilica, all of this. This is the Vatican proper right here. Well, the Basilica means Royal Palace of the Serpent. I mean, my goodness, you're looking at a serpent wearing a crown. It literally is the Palace of the Serpent. And you see this outside window right here where the tongue comes out? There's actually a sidewalk down here that turns into a split tongue. And this window right here, that's the window where the altar of the sheep is. Wow. I mean, this is, you know, this is just my mind. So let's, so I want to show you something. This basilica thing right here. Okay. All this courtyard is made. Here the cobblestones are. It's all black serpent skin because the keyhole has been blocked because now we're in serpent skin. We've, we've taken on a new form. Um, you know, God's, God's children have a no, whole new thing going and uh, it's called the flesh. And this is it right here. This represents it. Now watch, look at this Mickey Finn serpent's bite. Look at, look at the logo. Okay. Well, you see the serpent skin, see the serpent skin. Is it the same as this? Yes, it is. Oh, uh, well, let's look at what this is. Oh, you see this thing? Oh, look there. 
it says apple infused. They're making a play on the Garden of Eden. Now watch this. It's like a serpent. It's like a vampire. See the eye and the eye and the teeth. And it's coming down after the fruit representing the garden. But just cover up those two eyes. It's a sperm. See it? There's the tail of the sperm going up to Mickey Vince. See it? Do, 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 do. Serpent bite. Get it? I mean, you know, this is just a manifestation of the fact that you're living in this dream world that you don't even see. I mean, seriously. I mean, um, let me see if I can go back here. Seriously, if you, uh, you know, if you saw someone wearing, God, this thing's driving me nuts. So the program's being a little glitchy. If you saw someone wearing a necklace, and this was the necklace, and you, I mean, just just do the math. I mean, oh my God, why is she wearing a vagina on her neck? Oh, it's the virgin. Well, what? I mean, that's twisted. That's messed up. That's super messed up. Why? Because that's what Satan was after. And that was Satan's uh, lure also for mankind. That's how Satan traps all of humanity on a daily basis. Here. Do you think it's odd that the female reproductive system right here is identical to that? The head of Baphomet? Let's slide it over. Look. Do, 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 do. There you go. The flesh. See? Do you get it? And so I'm just exposing Satan's hidden kingdom. That's why when you, you know, you turn stuff upside down, you can see it. Because, and, you know, go read Acts 17.6. Like, you know, Paul and Silas go into Thessalonica. And it sets the city in an uproar. And it, they say, these that have turned the world upside down have come hither also. Here, I'll just go there for you. You know what? Let's just do it. I'll just show you. By the way, I want to show you, you know, I'll show you a couple of things. Since let's just hang out. We'll do just kind of a late night Bible study. I think Acts 9.2. Let me see. The Jews in Damascus couldn't refute um, Paul's proofs that Jesus was the Messiah. Um, maybe it's 9.22. Uh, let's see. I'll tell you what. Hang on one sec. Okay, so let me show you something about Paul real quick, okay? And straight away, he preached Christ in the synagogues. This is Acts 9, and that he is the Son of God. And they all, But all that heard him were amazed and said, Is this not he that destroyed them, which called on this name in Jerusalem, and came hither for that intent? Like Paul was rounding up Christians and <laughs> killing them. And to take them back to Damascus in chains to be tried and executed. And um, it says, And came hither for that intent, that he might bring them bound unto chief priests. Yeah. But Paul increased the, the more in strength and confounded the Jews, which dwelt at Damascus, proved, proving, proving that this is very Christ. Now watch, just another, another way of reading it, watch. Saul's preaching became more and more powerful, and the Jews in Damascus couldn't refute his proofs that Jesus was indeed the Messiah. So after a while, they decided to kill him. That's Acts 9, 23-23. So what proofs could Paul possibly have? I mean, my goodness. You know, Paul had seen Jesus on a vision on the road to Damascus. He fell off his horse. A bright light blinded him. And Jesus said, Paul, why are you persecuting me? And uh, he said, who are you? He said, I'm Jesus, the one you persecute. He said, go into Damascus. Then Ananias goes over there and lays hands on him. That's like sending a Jew to lay hands on Hitler. I mean, it's just crazy. I'm sure Ananias was freaked out. So Ananias goes over there and lays hands on him. His sight is restored. Get it? His sight, which is what I'm trying to give you. I'm trying to give everybody the gift of sight that God gave me. It's so easy to see once you see it. You know, there it is. Um, so anyway, 
So what proofs could Paul have? He couldn't, I mean, how do you prove that Jesus is indeed the Messiah? They could not refute his proofs. His preaching became more and more powerful, and the Jews in Damascus couldn't refute his proofs that Jesus was indeed the Messiah. Messiah, so they decided to kill him. Well, in Acts 17.6, it's the same proofs I have. It's identical. Watch this. So, you know, Isaiah had the same thing. Peter had the same thing. This is the way you know Jesus is the Messiah. You turn everything upside down. So let's go to Acts 17. Okay, so Paul heads into Thessalonica. And a bunch of guys got all pissed off. And it says, you know, because Paul was, was preaching Christ. and But the Jews which believed not moved with envy took up, I'm sorry, took unto them certain lewd fellows of the baser sort and gathered a company and set all the city in uproar and they assaulted the house of Jason. So they're, they're going after Paul, man, must have been scary. And they sought to bring them out to the people. When they found them not, they drew Jason and certain brethren to the rulers of the city, crying, these that have turned the world upside down, that's us are come hither also. Who? Brethren. Jason and the brethren. That's how you know you're a Christian, people. You've been turned upside down. Did you know the word repent means 180 degree turn the other direction and go the other direction? It's a military term. It's 180 degree and haul ass the other way. That's what it means. So, you know, I'm, all I'm doing is showing you what the scriptures mean. I mean, it, this is not my idea. I just showed you. These, these that have turned the world upside down, like Jonathan, are come here and they're pissing off our city. And so, you know, and then people get all pissed off because the demonic force that's running them, the thing that makes them guilty is the truth. I mean, and to see the truth, you turn everything upside down, you know, just like, uh, you know, all this stuff. You want to see, you know, what's up with the Mayan king? Turn it upside down. What's up with the freaky headdress? Um, well, turn it upside down. It's the devil. See his red horns going up? There's his eye, there's his eye, there's his nose, there's his teeth, there's his mouth, beard, you know, it's the devil. Because... It's a race of beings that's running humans through humans. It's another spirit. I mean, it's why do you think you have to be born of a new spirit? You have to be born again to go to the king, go to heaven. You have to be born of the spirit of the living God. In order to be born again, you have to believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and you have to repent, turn from your sins. And then you have to believe on his name. But how'd you believe on his name if you don't even know who he is? That's crazy. This is who he is. That's his identity. And I've had people that I've known for a long time go, I can't believe you're saying this stuff. It's like, what, what part is not understandable? I mean, the largest altar in the world in the largest church. I mean, there's a larger basilica on the Ivory Coast. But yeah, you know what? Let's just let's just do this. Let me show you something. So here's the big lock. You know, this is like keyhole that a lock goes in. Well, imagine if you took this right here. Did you know this right here would fit right in here? The dome right here. And did you know this obelisk would fit right in the hole that's under the altar, like a penis fitting into a receptacle? I mean, and this dome represents pregnancy, by the way. Now, so you have this big, you know, keyhole. It's got serpent skin on it. This is a big head of a serpent. Let me show you that real quick again. Let's see if I got that in here. Yeah, okay, look. Let me show you that real quick. That's the big head of a serpent. Watch. Okay. See, look. This is the Vatican. Okay, look at the eye right here and the eye right here. You know, here's the nose. 
going out. It's like, you know, it's like a basilisk, a very deadly snake, and it's wearing a crown. But you got to, you know, the Lord told me years ago, he told me, Jonathan, look at it at a 45 degree angle. I mean, I was like, wow, that's crazy. I hear the Lord telling me, look at the Vatican from this side at a 45. And it's a serpent wearing a crown. I mean, how crazy is that? I mean, that is a serpent wearing a crown. I love you in Christ. But if you don't think it is, I'm sorry, you're just blind. That's a serpent. It's also a cross. It's also a big keel with an upside down cross. So let's just kind of like hack it out. So, so there it is. See, here's the serpent leg. There's the nose. There's the eye. Coming to, it's a serpent. I can see it like that. It's a serpent. Okay, so uh, we walk in the door of this. This this is its own country, and this is called the Palace of the Serpent. Look right here. Here's where the throne of Saint Peter is. Right here in what? Right out this window. This is where the gold window is, where all the angels are going into the mouth of you know the locust on the inside. But look at the outside. You see the sidewalk. It's got a split. The tongue coming out and it splits. I mean, give me a break. <laughs> I mean, go look at it from Google Earth. You'll see a better image of the sidewalk. I mean, it's a tongue coming out that splits like a serpent's tongue. I mean, this is a proven fact. The Lord's let me prove this. Okay, well, let's look how big this thing is. Now, this should be the biggest news on planet Earth right now, this right here. So let's go into the Vatican. Let's just go in. We're going to see that here, that Gregorian chant stuff. Okay, so now we're in the Vatican. Okay, now just look around for a second. Let's just, let's, let's have a little look. Oh my gosh, what are you kidding me? I mean, look at this place. Let's see. Wow. I mean, some of the greatest art, artwork in the world. Yeah, I mean, art, look at this place. Look at the grand, look at the scope of it. Look at the scope. I mean, look at the windows and the second story, you know, I mean, goodness. I mean, just look at the grand, grandeur. Look at the size of a human being down here. I mean, the st these statues of angels are much bigger than humans down on the ground floor. These statues are much bigger. Look at this. Look at this. This is the palace of Satan. This is Satan's palace. The palace of the serpent. Sorry, I'm... Okay. Now look. There's a giant locust. So the whole thing... That right there, that that circle right there is this right here the mouth of the serpent that right there you see that that is that hole right there well let's approach let's approach the altar oh let's see stay with me for a second this thing's a little touchy okay well here's your giant locust well, let's, let's go look. Okay, y'all got the serpent? Serpent bite, get it? Serpent bite, serpent skin, okay? Watch this now. Let's just, let's just do this. Let's just have fun, man. Let's, let's explore all this again together a little bit. Okay, so, oh, here we go. So here's that big bug. You see the big bug with the eyes on the side right here? And the antenna like this? And look at the triangle on the nose. See it right there? And if these mandibles were open, they'd go down. Oh, you mean like this with the eyes on the side and the antenna? So we have this giant locust because this is what humans are being used for. This is what our, our souls are being fed to this. This is what's eating our souls. It's the serpent. It has all these different forms, man. And, you know, that's why Revelation says in the locusts, they had a king over them, Abaddon. And the locusts come out of the pit. I'm going to show that. I've shown those to you. Human and slave colors. Okay, well, let's, let's walk towards that window now real quick. Look, here we go. I mean, think about this. Who in the world could show you this stuff? I mean, I'm not capable of showing you this stuff, but God is. God can show it to you.
This is a gift of the Holy Spirit. It's no different than laying hands on someone that's blind. What you're seeing right now. I mean, oh, you're starting to see the big sheep? Look, ooh, there's a big sheep. What the hell? Look at the scope. I mean, look at the scope. Look at the size of these people. Look. This is like, I mean, good gosh. Then what is this, like 10 stories high? I mean, this thing's huge. Now, now, here's the big locust head, you know. And now here's the mouth of the locust. And under the mouth is a sheep with its tongue sticking out. Well, I've had people drawing pictures of me with dead sheep on my head for, you know, since 2001. So don't you think it's odd that the, the messenger that God called in 2002 uh, happened to have all these anomalies? I mean, is that just insane or what? Oh, wow. Look at the big dead sheep. Let's see. That's a dead sheep, folks. See it? I, I. Nostril, nostril, teeth, tongue sticking out. And then all the sheep's hair turns into God's angels going into the mouth of the locust. See? The locust is eating the dead sheep. And they go into the pit and we become food. We're food. Yeah. That's heavy duty. Well, let's do this. Watch. Let's go on the other side. Let's go in. Let's see where the serpent's mouth is. Let's get a little closer. Oh, wow. Dang, now. Okay, there you go. I, don't, I mean, that's a female re reproductive system. Guaranteed. Ovary. Ovary. Fallopian tube. That's why the lines all stay together. Look, follow the flow. What are these ridiculous things coming down right here on the throne? Look, this is supposed to be a chair, by the way, you know, where someone sits in this chair, in case you didn't know. And and then that that crown would be on their head in between two angels. That's a clitoris, guys. This is some twisted crap. Now, if you don't see the profundity and you don't go, oh, my God, this is the most profound thing anyone's ever shown us. I mean, my God, look at that. Female reproductive system, turn it upside down. Well, if you turn it upside down, then what is it? Well, it's all God's angels being birthed into the human race. Have I not said you are a gods, but you shall die like men? There it is. Female reproductive system, bunch of angels going into a vortex. They're being birthed into the human race. Have I not said you are angels, but you shall be birthed into and die like men. See, it's perfect. I mean, it's it's just not even arguable once you see it. But here's, here's the thing. The Bible says they don't see, neither will they understand. Psalm 82. They know not, neither will they understand. Ye are gods. And it says it right there. Ye know not, neither will they, they know not, neither will they understand. It says it right there. So there's a lot of people that come against this, and all they do is say you're a false prophet. They can't back up anything with scripture whatsoever. Not at all. You can't come against this scripturally. It's impossible. Because it's the truth. Why do you think Jesus said, don't your own scripture say you guys are gods? That's what he said. John 10. Hey, don't your own scripture say y'all are gods? Why are y'all going to stone me, man? I mean, you know, your own scripture say y'all are gods. Here it is. They know not. Neither will they understand. Those are for people like Neftali, Shannon Johnson, and every other person that doesn't understand. They walk on in darkness. Isn't that odd? They walk in darkness. Isn't it odd that my sunglass company that my sunglass company was come out of the darkness and into the light. I'm always upside down. I mean, I just proved to you these are documents. This is from my sunglass company in 2001. I mean, this is proof. I mean, my God, I'm upside down, upside down, upside down. Uh, this guy's upside down. Vampires, 
Come out of the darkness, come out of the darkness, come out of the darkness, into the light. Psalm 82. They walk, they walk on in darkness. You see what I mean? I mean, this is just impossible. They walk on in darkness. I have said you are gods, Elohim, angels, and all of you. That means every one of you, every human being. I've said you are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High, but you shall die like men. See, all of you are gods, and all of you are men. Get it? And you shall fall. Be cast out. Like one of the princes and the rulers that had rule. Arise, O God, look, look. Arise, O God, judge the earth. I mean, if he was just judging, uh, you know, people like, oh, no, there can't be fallen angels. Well, he says, judge the earth. What's on the earth? Men. And what's inside men? The spirit of angels and demons. So God's going to judge them all. It's pretty simple, especially with all the gifting that God gave. And, you know, when I say that, guys, it's it's meant for y'all's edification, not mine. I mean, really? I mean, that's why the people, oh, man, you're so conceited. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm just got to tell you, this is from God. It's not my thought. I'm just a messenger. And that's it. I'm a messenger. But there it is. I mean, you know, affliction. You know, I can do this stuff all day long, you know, but... I can get, guys, if you think these pictures are the only ones I got, I got libraries of this stuff. All this. All that stuff right here. Go grab yourself the uh, special projects folder. I mean, you know, all of this stuff is just chocked full. You can go grab the special projects folder. I'll put it in the show note link. Welcome to the world of good and evil right here. And by the way, I broke down. I'll put this in the thing. Uh, welcome to the world of good and evil. It's got all these different links with all these images. I mean, dude, there's the U.S. currency. The U.S. currency uh, has all the bombings of all the buildings on it. The way that you see that is you make a pentagram and you turn the pentagram upside down. Once again... There's the bombings of the buildings. That's how you decipher all of it. That's how I decipher it. No brain. No. Doesn't even require intellectual thought. It requires seeing with your heart, though. And a lot of people can't see with their heart. That's the problem. All right, guys. Well, God bless. Anyway, I just, I'm trying to help the best I can, you know. I see that some people are like, well, how do I get turned upside down? Just like I said, you know, turn that image upside down of fire is born, it's got the devil on his head. Make a pentagram out of one of the bills, turn the bill upside down, and there's the bombing of the federal building in Oklahoma City. Draw around the perimeter of the bill, pick up the bill, connect the vertices, and you got the star of Satan. See, look, right there, boom, star of Satan. Funny, Washington, D.C. is laid out in the same, you know, the star of Satan. You're on Satan's planet. It's like you're in, you're a foreigner here. I don't belong here. I woke up as a foreigner on this planet. I'm an angel. We're angels. Those who are worthy of the resurrection are equal unto the angels. You're an angel when you wake up. Until then, you are got a demon thing going. All right, guys, God bless you. Sorry about all the Gregorian chants I forgot to turn off. Anyway, so, yeah, yeah, you know. Anyway, so there it is. Uh, see, here's a comment. How did Satan make a man when he has no power to do such a thing? Who the hell told you that? I mean, God does everything through angels. He produces, I mean, how does, did God build all the buildings on the planet or did men? Well, I guess God threw men. Well, was it Satan building them or was it the Lord God? Well, Satan, really, but the Lord God's letting him do it under his authority. Do you get it? You see what I mean? 
it's like levels, you know, you got to understand it. Anyway, so I'm trying to help you guys just understand it. So before I went to bed, I just wanted to help you a little bit more. Because I'm here to help. I'm not here to, you know, do anything except try and get everybody out of here. Try and get you back home. That's it. God bless you guys. Love you. Good night.